This title screen looks cool. I don't think this is the actual title screen, you think? There's like just a demo placement. I'm gonna skip this stuff though. I, I hope the campaign story is great. I'm not really a story guy. Advancement with a BR start is gonna have people die really quickly. Yeah, maybe. If if you don't have uh, like many mobility options, why would it, would it wouldn't advanced movement make it harder to get a kill with a BR? Or you, oh, you mean like because they'll have aim assist and stuff? Like they'll make it easier to shoot maybe. Uh, okay, hold up. Yeah, I don't know. I I I think BR start. Like I still want to see BR start. I want to see how that plays. I want to see a BR. I didn't get to see a BR. The cutscene is solid. I I respect that. It looks good. This looks pretty. Like stuff I'm thinking is like. It does look a little bit like whoever said plasticky. Like I kind of get that vibe on the weapon. So they got like wildlife and stuff. I wonder if there's like day and night cycles. Like if it's like a like a breathing world, you know, like a real world. Shield recharge. They, is that health under? See how it's like very subtle. There's, there might be like a little line for health bar under the shield. Yeah, for sure. The lighting is good. This is the sprint. It just looks like sprint. That's the thing is like part of me wanted wanted to see them somehow like revolutionize how sprint looked, but I mean how do you This is gonna be dope though. Like if this is like co-op campaign, imagine co-op campaign in an open world like this, with a grapple hook to like really traverse. Like if there's no limitations on where you can go, you see it, you can go there. The sprint looks slower, yeah, I think so. I think it I wouldn't be surprised if they slowed things down, right? You know what it doesn't have? Halo 5 has that, like... So, Halo 5, you sprint, and then when you hit max speed, mini thrusters on your back activate, and then it shows, like, the... There's, like, the little lines on the side of the screen that shows you that you're, like, at top speed, like, you're moving really fast. Um, any kind of, like, thruster... It looks like Chief has none of that. You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't have that type of armor, so he doesn't hit that. Like, it's like almost like sprinting in Halo 5, but without the thruster speed. That, like, little boost that you get. No, no, nobody wants Spartan Charge or Ground Pound. We're good there. I think we expected that, though. I want to see how big this is. He, he, like, it's like they're purposefully not going too far out, you know? Right, you get this, like, extra increase to speed. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe there's pickups. Like, maybe you can upgrade yourself. I, I wouldn't doubt that they had stuff like that. Like, you, you pick up uh, some sort of... Even, like, grapple hook upgrade or something, you know? Like, like so hit markers, guys. There's even hit markers on, like... See that? Kill hit markers on the vehicle hitting the enemy. That's interesting. Like, I don't mind that, but, but they made... Okay, okay, all right, all right, hold on. So look at the strafe speed real quick. This just looks snappier than, than any other Halo for sure. It's very, he's like, he's just moving left and right fast. I don't feel like he really knows what he's doing, but, but it does look snappier. VK78 Commando, tactical rifle kinetic auto. Okay. Seems cool. It has like, notice how they have a uh, bloom? There's bloom on it though. It makes sense for a gun like this, right? It makes sense that, that if you spam an assault rifle type gun that it has a bit of a, like a bloom, but. I guess the, the pistol, right? Had like a bit of bloom. Yeah, it has some bloom. That's, that looks like, dude, that's kind of scary because it looks like reach bloom. Like the same. <laughs> They're playing with fire. They're playing they're playing with fire, putting in what looks like Reach Bloom on the The thing is, I don't care too much about this one because this uh this pistol, this pistol looks like like an H2 pistol. You know what I mean? Like it looks like a spammy sidearm. Like it doesn't look like a long range. It doesn't look like a gun you're gonna be sniping people with like a magnum, you know what I mean? Warthog has bloom, confirm. Warthog has the Warthog has hit markers, that's kinda funny. Please no bloom. This looks like Reach Bloom, look. That looks like Halo Reach straight up with a circle. This is... The thing is though, see how fast it goes back to center? So I think unless you're like really, you can probably spam it. You could probably spam it, spam it like a, like a gunfighter. 
Yeah, yeah, like what, what Tonza's saying. You probably just like spam the trigger and then the bloom will increase. Uh, but then it's probably a very close range weapon and it's a, it's a rinky dink like sidearm. So I'm not, I'm not worried about that as much as I'd be worried about like if he shoots a BR and there's like a bloom or something, you know, like a very long range gun. It looks like, this all looks like his game. Definitely looks like his game. So this gun is an automatic, right? And it does have bloom too. But like, how significant is it? This is stuff we have to test, right? Is this the type of gun you want to be spamming? Do you want to fire off like three shots? Like, you know, use bursts? Did he get descoped? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Did he get descoped? He got descoped, right? I Maybe he got descoped? I can't tell. He might have got descoped. There better be descoped. I'm I'm okay with how the AR looks. I want to use this in multiplayer. I want to use this gun and see how it feels, right? Like how how does it work from a long range? Is the bloom significant or is it more just like a graphical detail like if you're only spamming it like if I hold the trigger down does it become an issue or can I like you know what I mean? Aimbot. They look like they have like they have travel time. Maybe maybe there's travel time, but it, it seems pretty instantaneous. You can see you can like visibly see the bullets kind of traveling to the target though. That's true. Like I can see the bullets come out and travel. See how there's like you can see this like yellow line type thing. Shoot him in the nuts, by the way. This is just dirty. This is a dirty play. What's he trying to do? Huh? I could tell it needs a yeah, I, I I need to mess with this game. They need to put me on here ASAP. I need to start spring jumping. That's the first thing I'm gonna do is figure out whether or not I can spring jump. Put big one on the sticks. Come on. Yo, give it to Snipe down. Let him run the demo. Then we'll see what he thinks. Nice. Pick up drop wall. It said drop wall, fusion coil. So you can just pick up a fusion coil whenever. That's interesting. In multiplayer and stuff, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Will they even have fusion coils on maps? Check that out. So, the drop wall, when it blows up, it, like, damages a specific portion of the wall, not the whole wall. Notice? Like, it looks like, it looks like sections of the wall can be broken or damaged. Um... So, yeah, like I said here, it just looks like, it looks like you can break sections of this, and it looks like, like... I don't know how I feel about shooting through it. This is this is something they haven't done before. Shooting through it from the defensive side, but then what is what how does that work in multiplayer? Right? He does I think he does the first sprint slide here too. Yeah. See how see how fast he shoots out of that slide? Hold on. Is that faster than H5? It's hard to tell. But he shoots he shoots out of that slide like almost immediately after sliding. That's why I'm saying it's it's very subtle. Right? He's shooting like the moment he starts sliding. I don't I don't remember if Halo 5 is quite like that. Ravenger. It's called the Ravenger. No nade hit markers? Uh let's 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 check that. Let's check that. Hold on. That was a nade hit marker. That looked like a nade hit marker right there. Unfortunately. This thing, can you toggle this shit off? If you can toggle it off, I don't care, right? That was a nade hit marker. You got a hit marker for that. For the moment it's stuck. It's stuck. Hit marker on the stick. Yeah, on the stick itself, yeah. Which Halo 5 has that. Thoughts about the Magnum? It didn't really look impressive. It looks like a sidearm. It looks like a Halo 2 pistol. It's, you know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna steal the show. It's not a main utility weapon. I'm, I'm all for spike grenades. That's cool. I mean, this all looks really smooth. Like, I think this all looks really, really cool, really smooth. Whether or not this, this would be like, this kind of sequence would work in a multiplayer setting. Like, if you do have a grapple, and if the grapple's a map pickup, I don't know if you'd want to burn it for this type of thing, but like, just the whole like, sprint, slide out, the, he shoots, like, almost the instant he slides, right? And then it all, this just all comes down to testing, like, how flexible is that slide? Can I slide on a full 90 degrees? How far is the range on it when I hit max speed? 
Uh, can I slide down ramps? Does that change the momentum with the slide? Like, I, I gotta try that. Can we get throwing knives? I'm actually down for a, a knife of some sort, though. As like a melee weapon or something. Looks like you can cancel grapple. Does he cancel? I wouldn't be surprised. You should be able to Y button cancel the grapple. I wouldn't be surprised. Because what he's doing is he's melee canceling. Oh, yeah, he nade canceled the grapple. You can nade. So if you throw, if you shoot or throw a nade, it might just cancel instantly. If you do any form of... He grapple and then nade cancel and sticks. That makes sense. So you can probably Y button, shoot, or nade cancel through the grapple. Or melee. No loadouts. I saw loadout. No, no, no loadouts. I don't want that. It has to be same starting weapon, same starting abilities. The thing with this, this pistol, so like, you could have this pistol and you could have a magnum. Right? Because they, they serve two different purposes. This pistol looks like the Gunfighter Magnum kind of in H5. It's that same kind of style where you like spam it and it's fast. And it's like, it's it's a sidearm. It's close quarters. It's, you know, you're not going to be shooting people long range. You could also still have a Magnum, right? So we've only seen a small selection of weapons. Like I, I assume there's more. Still haven't seen a BR. So let me BXR people. The music right now though. Nice and clean. It seems pretty clean. Here's the clamber. And then, I don't know if this is the instant that you can shoot at a clamber or not. There you go. So you see how, see how fast he shoots out of that? I don't know if he can shoot faster or if that's the fastest. That was pretty smooth, though. This is all we have to go on. Does have a clamber. You need to manually vent it? You know what? It looks like you do need to manually vent the thing. You, I think it said really right bumper, right? Yeah, vent with. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's interesting. But it's so. How is it shooting? So it looks like it's shooting arcing rounds, and then it just lasered that grunt, though. Okay, no, it's. I guess it does just like. It looks so powerful, though. This is like a... Wait, what was this called? What was this called? Oh, Pulse Carbine. My bad. It says on the bottom of the screen. Shoot. Keep going back. Discuss the health bar and shield yet. I have... So you can see it. So the health bar seems to only appear on screen when you're taking damage. Or if it is there, it's just very subtle. Yes, it is there. It's just very subtle, right? So they do have shield and health bar. Same as, same as like Halo 5. Same, same style. So I wanted to do like a real, I was gonna spend some time with it on my own and try to break it down, but I guess we're just kinda, maybe I'll still do a separate video. So this this doesn't, you can't manually vent this one though, I don't think. Oh, you do, you vent, you vent this one too. You can vent all your overheating weapons. Huh. This is the, the, the best range example we get of grapple. This is the point where like, okay, if everybody spawns with one of these, this will be this will be kind of messed up in multiplayer. Because that's that's a pretty significant range. That's like kind of like the uh, the Pathfinder range. And it he didn't get he didn't fly anywhere. Maybe because he bumped the roof. This is something I'm curious about now. Notice how when he hits the roof, he just stops. Bank. It could it be because it might, maybe because he bumped the roof. It might have been because he bumped the roof. But can you can you turn in the grapple? Can I like look away and then create momentum for myself and swing? You know what I mean? Because it looks like it's just taking me point A to point B, uh, and it's hard to tell because he bumped the roof on this thing. This looks sick. I like this. This gun looks cool. It's just like a straight up revolver. We're gonna watch that again. That's pretty cool. And just bust the shields, I guess. So this this kind of opens up a whole... Like, if you can do this with a fusion coil, what else can you do? Like, what other objects can you grab? 
Can you grapple to a vehicle? Can you... I think... Did they already show weapons? Did they show him grapple a weapon? I wouldn't be surprised. You just grab a weapon. Right? Equip a fusion coil. Yeah. Yo, remember the barrels? The barrels in Halo 5? Imagine if you could just grab one and throw it. <laughs> I hate getting killed by barrels, though. It's cool, though. It's a cool idea to be able to grab items in your environment and bring them to you. This gun looks sick. I like... I'm a big fan of precision weapons, so... Like, this, this thing just... Like, I wonder how many shots it is to kill. What is it, like a three-shot shield or four-shot? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this thing, like, looks powerful. Looks satisfying. Like, to get to get a nice headshot with that thing looks satisfying. Grapple ball fondle? Grappling flag would be kind of nuts. I don't know what this thing's called. What do you think of the, the nades being on the bottom of the screen, though, right? Like... I, so, this is interesting. I'm not used to looking at the bottom of the screen. Mangler. It's not the, it can't be the mauler. I think it's, the, I think Nemo might be right. The mang, oh, you know, it says, it says the mangler. Yeah, you're right, you're right, it's the mangler. But, um, I don't know how I feel about bottom screen. And this is something I'm sure is subject to change. Like, I don't know what they're going to do with HUD and stuff. Like, they could, this, this, they could change quickly if they wanted to, I think. But, um. I guess you could just get used to looking at bottom screen for your nades and your weapons, but I'm used to looking at, at it up top. What do you guys think? I hope you can customize. Yeah, they should. You should be able to customize HUD, put shit where you want it, where you want to put it, and then disable it completely. Hopefully, you can just completely disable it. This looks cool. What I like about this shoddy is it's not like a scatter shot, right? It's not going to chunk you from long range. It takes like actual time. It looks like a mauler. It looks like mauler damage in, in this big beefy... What's this one called? Hold on. Please tell me there's thrust. I haven't seen it yet. I don't... I, don't, I would not rule it out. I think thrust is possible. Still. Uh, okay, CS... Wait, CQS48 Bulldog. So it's a Bulldog. Shoddy. Like an EVA 8 from Apex. Yeah, kind of like that. But kind of slower though. But I like that it doesn't... It looks like it, this is the type of shotgun that I think would work pretty well in multiplayer because it's not just going to kill you from a long range. Like you can do like a shot beatdown type thing. Like see how it's like taking in multiple shots. This is pretty sick though. Will this work in multiplayer, though? Realistically, do you think this is gonna... Maybe it'll work, but, like, wouldn't somebody just shoot you as you're coming at them? Because when you're grappling, I don't think you can shoot while you're grappling, right? So you're just kind of coming at a guy, uh, and they'll just get ready to punch you in the face as well. Like, it's gonna work on a on a bot, right? <laughs> I wonder how this will look in multiplayer. Yeah, scared. So I'm I'm guessing it's going to be a pickup on the map, the grapple. And if it's not well balanced, then they can decide if they want to remove it. If it's a pickup, it's as it's as easy as just flicking a switch. That's it. You know what I mean? Uh, funny if you die making the demo. They don't. You never die in the demos, guys. I don't even think it's possible to die in the demos because they <laughs> it would break the flow. I I'm gonna predict. I, let's make a hot prediction. Who thinks there's gonna be a thrust? I think there's still gonna be a thrust. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Drop my prediction. Your people are broken. I feel like it'll be a pickup. Hunt. I feel like they're just gonna Defeat. have different types of like like the drop ball and the grapple are just two items of a large spectrum. You, you don't think there's a thrust? Okay. I'ma predict thrust. Are there ramp slides? Yeah, I really want to know if there are ramp slides. Okay, you guys think no thrust. Okay. We shall we shall find out. You hope the grapple is quicker. Yeah, it actually doesn't look super fast, right? Like, it's kind of like... Like I said, if this is how the grapple works in a multiplayer setting, like... I, I'd, I'd shoot somebody who did this to me, right? Like, if he doesn't get staggered and it just hits him, I would I would shoot somebody who did this to me. And then I would I would just be ready to melee them the moment they get to me to be a melee trade. Right? I didn't see heavy aim. Yes! No heavy aim confirmed. This game is gonna fucking rock. I wish. Uh, I, well, there, there better not be. There's not going to be heavy aim. I think we're... I don't want to jinx it, but there better not be any kind of heavy aim. Uh, 
pickups alongside grapple grapple so you'd have to decide either grappling or thrust i think that that's what i think it is pinpoint i think there's going to be a series of of equipment pickups on the map and you have to decide uh what you or like we can decide what to put on the map and uh you either have a thrust or a grapple it's not both at the same time a broken which i think a thrust plus a grapple just just for movement reasons might be kind of cool but it would be you know for multiplayer it'd be crazy so if i had to guess from what I can tell from the sprinting and the fact that there's no thrust, it seems like any form of like thrusters on the armor are not on this guy's. It, like imagine Chief just has like an armor that has no form of like thrusters on the back. So I feel like there'd be no stabilize, uh, no thrust, and and no like when you're sprinting, there's like thrusters that kind of activate behind your Spartan. It looks like there's none of that. Honestly, I think stabilizing takes a huge chunk out of the game's uh, skill gap. Without the stabilize, I think it does take a big chunk out of movement skill gap. That changes like spring jump stabilize, uh, spring thrust, super jumping, like all those techniques required the stabilize and the stabilize got you higher, it, it got you farther. It's like the, the whole idea of like mashing crouch and stabilize to maintain peak height, all that stuff. That I'm gonna miss that. And I'll, I'll probably make a video about that. But um but that doesn't mean this game's, you know, not gonna still have depth. And and uh, and I think it also will make it more approachable to more people. Because uh, I think stabilize is one of the main reasons why you had to have paddles on your controller, why you had to, you know, why you had to claw. How's the re reveal over here? I mean, I'm excited to get some Halo. I wish I got more. I'm I'm happy with open world. Okay, open world campaign, sick. It still has sprint slide, clamber. It still has some of, some of the Halo Five advanced mobility that I love. Meaning that there could still be a cool skill gap. We don't know about spring jump. Uh, you know, the, the, okay, graphically, it looks really pretty. The art they nailed, the music they nailed, the graphics I wish were a little better. Um, but, but you know, if it's open world, then I'm, I'm willing to forgive that because the, the, the world itself looked beautiful. I feel a little bit cucked because I wish I got more, but I'm happy overall with what I've seen so far. I think there's potential. And, uh, and I'm just curious. I just want to see more. Is there anything else? I... Th Okay, so what's going on in the reveal right now? I go back to the reveal and this is what I see the moment I go back to the reveal. People cringing in the chat. This is the problem when I... <laughs> like, how can you expect your gaming audience to watch this? and get excited for these Series X. Love, unite, yeah. Dude, come on, man. Like, I get it. I, I, it was a, some Tetris thing.